While most people tend to do something relaxing after work, these people here are getting ready to do an urban scavenger hunt. And not just any scavenger hunt. City Chase is Canada's largest urban adventure race, and for the first time, they hosted a crash course version of the main event. Approximately 30 teams of two signed up for the crash course in Toronto, where each team had to complete six challenges, also known as chase points, within two hours, and could only travel on foot. Each team was given a clue sheet which had hints on where to find the chase points and which ones were mandatory. All of the challenges were pretty easy and were located very close to each other, which I was glad for, as it was a bit of a challenge trying to run full speed through downtown Toronto during rush hour. A tip for anyone doing city chase is to take note of all the event sponsors and to familiarize yourself with where they are located. This year's city chase is sponsored by Good Life Fitness, and funds raised will go to the Good Life Kids Foundation, which supports physical activity programs for children with autism. The first three teams that completed the crash course won a free race entry to a city chase event of their choice. There were also random draw prizes and a free drink for all participants. For those new to city chase, the crash course is an excellent preview for what to expect at the main event later on in the summer. And for the veteran chasers, the crash course is a great warm up to the real thing. City chase is always a lot of fun, and the crash course version definitely got people excited for the event in August. Especially the big announcement that was made at the end about City Chase Nationals, but I'll let the City Guru give you all the juicy details when the time comes. <laughs>